All right, folks, let's talk about young Dylan, which sucks. It's like, oh, my gosh, how come I don't have that video up that I was talking about? Oh, it looks like we have another person, which was there another person. Yeah, I'm pretty sure young Dylan started off on YouTube and now we have another person who has went from YouTube and now he's on TV and he's working with Tyler Perry. Wow. So, yeah, I don't know where that video is at this time. Hopefully, I do have it up. If not, then I can't. And I'm like, oh, well, I lost it somehow. So, anyways, it was kind of funny where I first like, hmm, is this the human version of Cousin Skeeter? It's like, I don't even remember the Cousin Skeeter TV show because at that time, I didn't have cable anymore. So, I only saw like at least two to three episodes. So, yeah, if you know what color Cousin Skeeter is and you saw the whole entire series, look at season, look at the first episode of Young Dylan and tell me if there's lots of comparisons or, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure there's like some little bit of comparisons to like, what the frick. But more than anything, it seems that Young Dylan is kind of like the younger version of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The only, mess, the only other part is that we, had, we got a Carlton character. Mm -hmm. We have i forgot the other i forgot the other girl's name but i know we don't have valerie well technically we do they might have just mixed those two characters into one and we have a valerie character but she's smart aka we have both sisters being fused into one so we don't have the airhead rich girl but since you know it's not a rich family yeah I guess the real funnier part is just the fact of it does seem like it's like the house of pain, but without the dad in it. Yeah, it's like the mom. The mom is completely messed the frick up. We don't know what's going on in there. There can actually be some parent stuff in there, you know, adult stuff in there. Like, for instance, in House of Pain, Janine actually was a drug addict. But eventually she got clean and then they actually moved into a house together and they had another child. So they were able to move their kids out of their grandparents house and they were able to all live in one house. But of course, since I'm not sure, because again, I didn't have cable at that point because, well, that was the late 2000s and I still didn't have cable. I I mean, yes, it went on CW, but I think just like usual where they're like, oh, we're going to put a series on TW. Oh, oh. And it's like, that's a great idea, but we're not going to play any sequence and all the new episodes. No, freak that. No, we only got a certain amount. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't understand how that show ended or anything else. So. But yeah, it seems like a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to me, except it's a little bit more, in quotation, streamlined. Because, well, Will Smith, he was an up-and-coming rapper, but he didn't actually try to make Carlton seem, yeah, I know this is messed up to say, but fly. You know, he didn't actually try to make freaking Carlton as if, holy crap, holy crap, lots of people are going to like him now. It's like, no, he didn't do anything with Carlton. Carlton actually just was his own person still. It's like, yeah, he never actually hooked him up or anything. So, yeah, this one, you actually have young Dylan helping out his cousin to understand stuff. And, well, it was kind of funny. I thought they actually were going to go all the way with the whole, let me tell you how a baby is made. It's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, he's eight years old. You already told him. He's like, no, no, you need two more years. The mom already told him how freaking babies made. Oh, what the frick? She should. What the? Yeah. And then the whole thing about he's in Chicago. I'm from Chicago, man. <laughs> it's like I didn't actually get to truly grow up there and who knows if I become a different person than I am now er. but yeah it's like kind of funny where it's like what's Philadelphia honey race and then he goes to Bel Air meanwhile young Dylan he goes to Chicago to I don't know where they are <laughs> it's like yeah but it's not Chicago yeah um anything else uh oh yes the baby made part yes yeah, good that since you know it's a kid's show they didn't go for it i mean i thought for a minute they were gonna go for it they were gonna be like yeah he's gonna tell them exactly how a baby is made and i'm like oh what the fuck no 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 they just said it's french kissing french kissing makes a baby mm. 
Yeah, well, good, Nickelodeon. Because for one second, I thought you were going to actually get your freaking show taken out before it even started. But, okay. And that was clever. Yeah, but you are really, truly. You are truly actually doing something that was kind of risky there. That was really freaking risky. But it kind of seems to me that it's like, oh, he's a bad little boy. You know, that's what it seems like is that it's just nothing but a big, you know, Barton. I didn't do it, you know, but it's not as it's like it's not to the point of where he has a catchphrase like, did I do that? It's like he doesn't have a catchphrase or anything like that, which thank goodness, because that would have been even worse. But anyways, uh. The mom and dad. The mom and dad seems okay. The grandma seems okay. The sister seems okay. It's like the show and the people involved are basically the family we're going to see day by day or week by week. They don't seem too bad. They seem okay. They seem technically Tyler Perry-ish. It's like, yeah, but it seems like they're Tyler Perry-ish. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. What happened to Cousins for Life? Oh, damn that did get canceled oh man but cousins for life was technically my brothers and me successor kind of the successor oh man i really hope that's not true i really hope cousins for life will come back but if it won't son of a but anyways sure Young Dylan won't actually be a bad show, but still, <laughs> the freaking jargon, the vernacular he's using, that was crazy. It's like, what the f And they did that for a certain reason. Yeah, but it seems like to me, it's like it's Baby's kids all over again, you know? It's Baby's kids, but I'm pretty sure the Baby's kids won't even, he'll be dancing circles around what the frick he's saying. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the baby's kids, they will be freaking be like, what the freak are you talking about, man? And he's just like, <laughs> it's weird, man. I mean, yes, freaking language and slang has changed over freaking years. It always does that. And if you're not caught up, you're going to be left in the dirt. And I'm pretty sure I might be left in the dirt. But guess what? I don't freaking damn care. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but I don't freaking damn care. And I'm pretty sure there's many people and many kids are like, what the freak he's talking about, too? So it's like, I'm most likely I'm not just only one who's left in the dirt, but still. And it's even really funnier. It's like, left in the dirt? What do you mean by that? And it's like, oh, my gosh. It's like, please don't make it so, like, I have to freaking talk about all the stuff I talk about because I have to explain it to you. And it's like, good Lord. It's like, that's what he has to do is most likely explain every single shit he freaking damn says. And it's like, damn, that sucks, man. It's like, you got to strive to be like freaking damn Snoop Dogg because Snoop Dogg, we can understand all the stuff he says, and he just simplifies a few things. He doesn't go all completely crazy and be like, yeah, complicate all the stuff and make it sound cool. Even though to me, it kind of like sounds like it's like a little bit of dirt. <laughs> it's like dirt talk, man. <laughs> dirt talk. Uh. But anyways, yeah, so the episode just starts by actually just concluding that the mom actually said i'm gonna come back at eight o'clock and it's been a month so she's out partying and bullshit and it's like the grandma's like okay so either he stays in retirement home with me or stays with you guys so he's gonna stay with them and at first it was a little bit of a debate and man the kid is so innocent it's like yeah their son is so innocent having a freaking um imaginary friend that's gonna get wrecked it's like yeah and he needs that it's like, and he needs that to be wrecked anyways. Um, their dog died, and he said that we moved, he went to Spain, but he said, yeah, we had to take, put him down. And it's like, put him down. It's like, that's, I'm sorry, but I'm awesome when it comes to lying. It's easy. It depends on how the direction you are at Spain. So basically put him down, which like, for instance, if you're, let's see, how does this work? so for me it would be a lie but depending on them it could not be a lie where it's like we took them down we put them down which means if they're actually facing west and east is behind them then it's true because spain is to the right of us so that means that yes they put him down because 
east is down and west is up. So basically, yeah, that would have worked perfectly, depending on how they actually structure it. So it's like, yeah, they put him down. But instead, no, it turns out that he was sick and old and they had to take him out. So sadly, that's been exposed to him. Sex. Well, actually, no, not sex. Just where babies made the stork. The stork has been shot down, too. So basically, they got into the point of where he's I think he's eight, too. So they're both eight years old and the sister's 12. So I bet they were waiting two for two years to where it's like, OK, now tell him everything. Where it's like, yeah, that's the, that's the honorable thing to do. That's how it always works is that age 10, that's when everything changes and you get the keys and all the stuff of where it's like, oh, oh, that's what how babies are made. It's like, oh, my dog didn't act. My dog's dead. <laughs> it's like, oh, imaginary friends are. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything about that one. I, I can't say anything about that. Yeah, especially the fact that um, Candyman is coming back again. So it's like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can't say that crap because Candyman is still going to come after my ass. Candyman is still going to come after my ass. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 uh, well, besides that, they had a good talk. And I think the cousin, not, not little Dylan boy cousin, was talking about how you're not going to stay here. They don't really want you and stuff. And then, of course, it's revealed that, yes, they want them because, well, after a while talking about it, it's like another mouth to feed another kid. And they're like, yeah, um, the stork is not going to ever come by here ever again. That's what they meant by not going to have any more kids, meaning they don't want you is because they they just meant that there's not going to be another baby in the house. Frick that. Oh, yeah, it was pretty funny how the reveal and sadly they did kind of sort of made that something. But I kind of like the. I would have wished they played it up to where it's like he was there the whole entire time and he just got an imaginary friend out of nowhere or he had an imaginary friend and an imaginary friend just fused into young Dylan. And now young Dylan is there and the freaking sister is like, what the freak? I thought he's imaginary. What the fuck is going on here? It's like, I would have kind of like that interlude, but instead it still worked. It still worked. They still kind of landed on their feet. The fact of where it's like, Hey, there's a kid upstairs. Is it cool to bring him down and have him for dinner and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, Oh, what the frick? <laughs> like, Oh, what the frick? Uh Oh, Oh, anyways, I'm going to still continue on. But anyways, Eventually, it gets to the point of where it's like they will accept him until his mom comes because they know that what's going to happen is the same old thing of where he gets very comfy and stuff. Then the mom shows up and now he has to leave. But they're like, well, we're just going to keep him and have and nurture him and stuff until that time comes. And it's like, man, I'm pretty sure that mom sucks ass. It's like, yeah, the mom sucks ass. She doesn't deserve custody. I mean, she left him for a freaking month. It's like, seriously? It's like, and of course, it's like, if you know Tyler Perry, it's something very, very dark about why she left her son. And most likely when we get to have that, in quotations, kid answer, I'm pretty sure we're going to actually have to dig in there and be like, so drug addict, um, loves to party all the time and she's gotten drunk as frick and continues to get drunk as frick and most likely even has sex all over the freaking place. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's most likely what happened to her. And who knows when she's going to come back? <laughs> who knows when she's going to come back? But it's kind of funny that the last part of the episode, it was kind of funny being like, will we make it? Well, we'll have to find out, right? It's like, yep, we have to find out if your freaking show will make it. Yeah, because all you would like to have a paycheck, right? It's like every single one of you want to have paychecks. And it looks like next week they're going to have DJ Khaled over there. Oh, what the freak. And oh my gosh, freaking Carlton. I know it's not his name, but technically he is Carlton. It's like, oh my gosh, that's kind of, that, that would be kind of funny, but kind of horrible to be like, so we get Will Smith. We get Will actually doing a rap. And who would be the person in that time? I think it would be P. Diddy. P. Diddy would be guest starring. So he would figure out for P. Diddy. Awesome. And then Carl didn't have to be rapping for P. Diddy. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Never mind. I take it back. That would be horrible. 
just like this. It's like, it's horrible. You let freaking Carlos it actually rap it. Like, why in the world do you need to? Dude, why the hell did you even allow your cousin to rap? It's like, you should have stopped him. You should have freaking stopped him. But, well, anyways, watch or don't watch this show. Hmm, that's a good question. I would say it is valuable, somewhat valuable to watch, especially if you enjoy Tyler Perry stuff. If you like Tyler Perry stuff, definitely support it. Um, if you like your Fresh Prince of Bel Air, just have one watch of this episode and see how it's very, very similar to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air in some case. In some little case, it kind of is familiar. It's like as if Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It was a rich family. The banks are rich. So since they're not rich, well, this is what you get. You get young Dylan. <laughs> it's like, yeah, those guys aren't really that rich. So. But would I actually tell you to watch it? I don't know. This one's actually it's like uh not sure. I mean, basically the vernacular part is where it's like, okay. But hey, if you like, hey, cuz and all that stuff, it's like if you actually are it's like yeah a uh, damn <laughs> it's like if you actually know the freaking jargon and um vernacular of today's world and then it's like yeah that'll be kind of funny for you especially for all the it's like young dylan knows it everyone else does it and it's like damn it's like yes yeah, it's damn it's like as if you brought twister home or twister's early years Oh my gosh, that would be a good that would be a good show. Twister's early years. Twister, the rapper who can spit like lightning. Yeah, the freaking guy's like, hey, look, I could do smooth criminal very, very fast. I'm like, oh, that's good for you. Why haven't you guys found that guy and made him do a twister song? I'm shocked that you guys haven't made him do a twister rap. Because you're like, oh, he's very, very fast when it comes to smooth criminal. Um, get him a freaking twister song and let's see how he can do that one. Okay, that would be interesting to me because there's not a lot of people who can spit like Twister can. So if you have a dude that's like, I could do smooth criminal fast, then you should actually make him do a Twister rap and see how fast he can truly go. It's like, damn, it's like, I have the freaking Batmobile for the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Did you take it to a freaking desert and see how fast it can go? No, I just use it for my daily chores. And sometimes when I actually have to go home and it's like one hour away, I'm able to get there very fast within 20 minutes. It's like, oh, well, that's cool, but we don't know how fast it can truly go. But anyways, yeah, again, I am not sure if I can actually say it's good or bad. All I can say is... If there's, if the specifics I just said is enticing to you, then it's worth a watch. If not, then you don't have to watch it. I don't think anything's going to really come of it. I just hope that it's not going to be like a freaking, well, it can be one season. Technically it can. And either way, young Dylan's getting freaking money. Everyone's getting money. So it's not that bad, but it is kind of sad that this show might be the reason why Cousins for Life is gone, which I really hope it's not. I really, truly really hope it's not gone. 